Hey, welcome to another video on Shopify Storage 2.0 for developers. Uh, in this video, we are going to explore the new tool introduced by Shopify and Shopify Unite, which is called Shopify CLI. Using the new tool uh, Shopify CLI, you can create your new theme on the new development uh, store. So it is going to be a replacement for Shopify theme kit. And the good thing about the CLI is like it has a lot of cool features and upgraded and you can start developing your theme in your local environment too. We will explore more about this feature in this video and in the future videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install it on Mac OS, uh, also Windows, if you are using Windows, I'll show you what are like the process of installing. Before I do that, I'm just going to show you other uh, tools also. You might be familiar with Toolkit, which we used to do it. Still, you can use ThemeKit on the old sto stores, but if you want to develop a new theme on a new store 2.0, it is recommended to use Shopify CLI because this is going to replace ThemeKit in the future because it has a lot of cool features. We will focus on the features on the future video, but for now, if I scroll down, there is another uh, version controlling tool uh, for GitHub integration. You can now directly push your code on GitHub and for each branch, you can have separate like themes and you can publish your theme using the Git style. We will come to that in a few minutes, but for now, let's see what are other tools. You have also Lighthouse, uh, Lighthouse CI for continuous integration with GitHub and the Lighthouse will make sure your theme is performing well and working fine and it is for the performance. You have the team check, which is going to check your team. You have written proper code. Your code is consistent or your code is using the latest version of Liquid and you are you do not have any duplicated code. So it is very like nice tools that you have here. For now, let's focus on the CLI. If you go to the CLI documentation, there is two versions of it. Uh, one is for teams, one is for app. So if you want to explore the app version, you can create app using Node.js and react you can explore it in this link but for now we are on the team one uh, both of them are the same but the comments that you use are separate we will focus on the team in this video series but i might touch the the, the app one also in the future video so let's check out here at the bottom the features you can develop you can uh, preview your store and test on your local environment you can share it we will focus more in the future videos and see how it will work hot module reloading with css which is nice one initializing existing theme which is the down you can just clone it and use that as a starter theme or you can install your own theme we'll focus on that team check and some other cool feature so let's see how we are going to use this one i'm going to go to the install section in here if you're on windows you just install the ruby installer and the thing is Shopify CLI is built on Ruby, so you must have Ruby on your computer. If you don't, it is not going to work. And it should have like at least version 2.7 at the time of this recording. And you have to have it, either you're on Mac or Windows, both of them you require to have Ruby installed. So if I come here in the Mac OS version, which I'm using here, now the, the Windows is easy, I think. You just install the installer and you're good to go. But if I come to Mac OS, you have two options. Either you use the gym or you use homebrew. Since I have homebrew in my computer, I'm going to use the homebrew instead of the gym. So if you have like gym installed in your computer, you can use this one and it will be fine. So let's install Shopify with brew first and we will see how it is going to work. I will come to the command line in here. You will paste the command. And make sure you have the latest version of brew and you should not run like brew as an administrator if you are running it because it is not working anymore and if you are getting any error make sure you update your cli and everything because the first time i installed it i got some error because my brew was not up to date and i tried to install it as admin but it still it didn't work as you can see i have already installed this one so i don't have to do it and all you have to do if you want to make sure is it working or not just run the shopify uh, version um, command in here if you run it it is going to show you like if your shopify is working or not since i am running it for the first time it's going to ask me like uh, would you like to enable anonymous like user reporting it is going to send some report to the shopify for improvement purposes 
Uh, in this case, I'm going to say no. So I'll pick no and yes. And now it is going to show me the version of the Shopify. So next time if I run Shopify version, it shouldn't ask that. It should directly show me the Shopify. So now when you have access to the Shopify command, you are good to go. And now you can start creating your own theme, which we will do in the next video. So I hope it has been informative. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video because we are going to add a lot of cool feature in the new existing Shopify theme. So yes, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.